For the following exercises, sketch a line with the given features. Here is an equation. Let's rewrite that equation. Remember, we hate this notation. K of x, h of x, f of x, just call it y. Just call it y. So 2 over 3, x minus 3. So whenever you have to now plot an equation, first draw your axes. We know that the horizontal is x and the vertical is y. The first thing you're going to start off with in this equation is plotting your y-intercept. Remember, these are linear lines and they follow the equation y is equal to mx plus b. Remember that b is the y-intercept. So in this particular problem, or with this equation, the, the y-intercept here is actually negative 3. Okay? So literally go on the graph and plot negative 3 on the y. So that would be located here, right? Down 3 units because it's negative from the origin. Okay, so now that I have this point, the next thing to do is plot now the slope of this line relative to now the y-intercept. So, remember, I'm going to just write the slope on over here. The slope is in fractional form 2 over 3. And this is good because we always like to actually work with fractional slopes. Remember that slope is always, and you've got to memorize this, slope is always change in y over change in x. Always y over x, y over x, y over x, not x over y y over x. Okay, y over x. So what this means now is that the y is changing by positive two units and the x is changing by positive three units. So if I had to now go to my y-intercept and I had to say, well, from this point, the y is changing by positive two units. What does that mean? Well, that means it's going up two units. At the same time, though, the x is also changing by positive three units. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means it's also moving to the right three units then. So actually, the new point here will be located at that spot. So plot it there. And then do it again. Up two over three. Y up, Y up, and to the right, because they're both positive. Okay? And literally, all you got to do is draw your line. I'm going to tweak that a little bit. And there you go. It's as easy as that. Let's do the next one. So draw your axes, okay? Remember, I'm just gonna, in my head, think of this as just y, okay? Equals blah, blah, blah. Now the one thing is, notice how they're trying to trick you here. They're trying to trick you. Notice how the variable here comes second. Normally we're used to seeing it come first, right? And you can call this whatever you want. You can call this y, and instead of writing it as t, you can call it x if you want. It doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't technically matter. I'm gonna try to keep, though, with this notation, so I'm gonna write t over here, and then my y value, I guess, at the top. So I can rewrite this as now y equals 2t plus 3. Why did I switch it up? Well, because I'm trying to match it up with my equation of a linear line, right? mx plus b. That helps me now identify what the y-intercept is. The y-intercept in this equation now is a positive 3. So fine now. And I realize what I'm going to do is give myself a little more space. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is find positive 3 on the y. There it is. There it is. Now what I need to do is then apply the slope. Now the slope here is a whole number. I want you to take all whole numbers and convert them into fractions. Don't be scared. All I mean by that is literally put the value over 1. That's it. Right? The number 2 is the same thing as saying 2 over 1. So that's all we're going to do for every problem, okay? The reason why is because we now can apply our change in y over change in x to this slope, just like we did over here. So we got to go up two units on the y, so we go up from that point two units, and then we got to go to the right one unit because it's positive, right? They're both positive, so up and to the right again. So that would be the next point, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And notice we can just simply plot it, right? I'm going to move it over a little bit. And that's it. It's literally that simple. Okay. And now, next, plot that line. Or excuse me, plot the axes. Okay. We'll call this T again, I guess, because they're using that. We can call that Y. We know, oh, we know we've got to reorganize that now, right? They're trying to trick you, but you cannot be tricked anymore. What was that? F fool me one, shame on you. Fool me again. You can't get fooled again. I don't remember. Something like that, President Bush. I don't, I don't know. 
not not political at all. It was just very funny. Um, in any case, uh, all we have to do is simply just plot this. Okay, so find the y-intercept first. The y-intercept was negative two in this case, so plot the negative two y-intercept right there. Okay, now realize the slope is then a whole number. Again, just take that whole number, put it over one. Remember, it's always change in y over change in x. We're gonna go up three units then from the y-intercept, boom, and then over one unit to the right because it's positive, boom. And that's the location of the new point. Up three over one, and you can keep on doing that. And literally now, let's just plot the line. I'm gonna just tweak it a little bit. Oh, eh, that probably gotta angle it a little more. Yeah, saw that one coming, saw that one coming. All right, so that, that's close enough. All right, and there it is. That's all you gotta do. Easy as pie. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. We appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe and hit that like button. All right, we look forward to helping you with more problems. See you soon.